Tim Cook, chief executive of Apple, has come out as gay. In an essay for Bloomberg Businessweek, he has written publicly for the first time about his sexual orientation. Joining me to discuss this is Michael Skopinker, business and society columnist for the FT and an associate editor. Mike, thanks for joining us. Why does this matter? Why is it such a big story? Well, it shouldn't matter. Uh, it shouldn't matter. It shouldn't really be relevant. It should be something that's as unimportant as a CEO announcing that uh, he's divorced. But uh, it does still matter, and it matters because of the context in which uh, Tim Cook has made this announcement. He made that clear. Uh, he's talking in a situation where the majority of U.S. states still make it legal for companies to discriminate against gay employees. Uh, he's announcing it in a situation where 76 countries in the world, uh, there are 76 countries in the world where homosexuality is still a crime. Um, I can say uh, the Financial Times, we published uh, recently our executive diversity report. This was about the position of uh, LGBT employees and managers. It was published around the world, but our printing contractor in the United Arab Emirates uh, felt unable to print it because it would have been against the law. Uh, it's still available worldwide online. And I think this is the importance uh, of what Tim Cook has said. Um, Apple is one of the best known companies in the world. Its products, the iPhone, the iPad, are known around the world. And I think this will resonate in countries where people who are gay really don't have the opportunity to say what they are because uh, they would be committing a crime. They would be opening themselves to persecution. So I think that's still the importance of it. But he, he's not just become chief executive of Apple. He's been there for a number of years now. Um, he could have admitted this publicly. And I suppose the other question is, he heads a private company, a private organization, not a government body. He's not the president of the U.S. So why does it matter that a chief executive in particular has admitted this publicly? Well, the fact that he's waited to do it now is uh, a question for him. As he said in his statement, he's entitled to his privacy, and he is. As you say, he's not an elected official. It shouldn't be anybody's business. And I think the fact that it is and that he felt the need to say this and that uh, people are taking support and encouragement from it is because, as I say, of the context in which many people uh, in the United States many other countries, many countries around the world still live and I think that's the importance of it. People are looking for role models, people are looking for people to speak up. The more people in positions of power, positions of authority who say they are gay, the more people think, well, you know, I can say that too. And I think it brings us closer to the time when it really doesn't matter. Mike, thanks very much for joining us. Read more about this on FT.com.